The bitter cold is being blamed for deaths in Brown and Lafayette counties. The conditions are also hazardous for your pets. And tonight, Animal Control was out looking for animals left out in the freezing temperatures. Annie Scholes rode along with them, and she's live to tell us what they found. Annie? Mike and Carol, this is Stella, and this is exactly where she should be, in her home where it's nice and warm, because on the other side of that window is air so cold it can kill. Come here. Come on. It's hard to imagine anyone leaving this Come little on. guy out in the bitter cold to fend for himself, but someone found him wandering the streets and called Milwaukee Animal Control. We come across frozen dogs during this time of year. Cats as well. Robin Stoiber sees this all too often. Dogs left outside exposed to the frigid elements. And the consequences are just as severe as they are for you and me. Frostbite, even death. Well, with dogs, you'll see them crouching down more in a sitting position, constantly shaking. As we drove around, we found these three pit bulls confined in a backyard. The owner thinking hay was enough to keep them warm. Yeah, I took them in the house, but they weren't cold to me. I, you can go out there and fill them. Oh, no, they're cold. You can see it in the, how their body is. Stoiber says you can see the signs. They're hunched over, shaking, and cuddling for warmth. There are others like them out there, and they have no way of asking for help, which is why it's up to you to do it for them. And we did swing by that house again. The owner did take those dogs inside. If you have to take your dogs outside, you'll want to keep it quick. And it might sound silly, but if they need it, you will want to put them in a sweater. On your side, live in Milwaukee, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, too cold for a lot of time outside for people or pets. Thanks, Annie. And